Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're a fan of the charming Sebastian Croft, star of Prime Video's hit rom-com, How to Date Billy Walsh, and Netflix's beloved series Heartstopper, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into some truly surprising facts about Sebastian that might just blow your mind. Before we kick off, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for more awesome content. Let's jump right in. Number five, Sebastian is a musician. Starting off our list, did you know Sebastian isn't just a phenomenal actor? That's right, he's also a talented musician. While we've seen his acting skills shine through in How to Date Billy Walsh and Heartstopper, Sebastian also frequently shares clips on his Instagram where he's singing and playing instruments. From strumming the guitar to playing the piano, he's got a pretty impressive range. But it doesn't stop there. Sebastian is also a songwriter. He once teased a snippet of a song he wrote, showcasing his musical flair. Who knows? Maybe alongside his flourishing acting career, we'll soon be hearing more about his music ventures. Number four, Sebastian appeared in Game of Thrones. Next up, many might be surprised to learn that Sebastian graced the screen in none other than Game of Thrones. That's right, in season six, he portrayed a young Ned Stark in the episodes Home and The Door. His roles extend beyond the Seven Kingdoms though, as he also starred as boy familiar in Penny Dreadful. More recently, Sebastian has appeared in the film Wonderwell and is set to star in Svalta alongside his How to Date Billy Walsh co-star, Nick Frost. Sebastian's versatility in acting is clearly evident from these varied roles. Number three, Sebastian was linked to one of his Heartstopper co-stars. Now let's talk about Sebastian's love life, or the rumors at least. While his on-screen chemistry with Charithra Chandran in How to Date Billy Walsh was undeniable, off-screen, they're just good friends. He's also very close with Tanner Buchanan. However, his friendship with Heartstopper co-star Joe Locke sparked quite the buzz. After sharing several adorable moments post-season one, fans were convinced they were a couple. But the truth, they're just best friends. More recently, Sebastian has been linked to Charlie Besso with lots of cute social media interactions, though nothing has been confirmed just yet. Number two, Sebastian is an activist. Did you know Sebastian is also a passionate activist? Beyond the screen, he's making a significant impact. He designed a Queer Was Always Here shirt, with all sales proceeds going to LGBT refugee charities like Choose Love and Rainbow Railroad. Sebastian doesn't just talk the talk, he walks the walk, even attending Pride in London with his Heartstopper castmates. His advocacy for LGBTQ rights is both vocal and heartfelt, showing his commitment to making a difference. Number one, Sebastian is a theater actor. It's essential to highlight that Sebastian is a seasoned theater actor. Born and raised in England, he's been immersed in acting since he was just seven years old. Early in his career, he appeared in iconic theater productions, such as Oliver, Les Miserables, Matilda, and King John. Working with prestigious groups like the Royal Shakespeare Company and National Theater Live, Sebastian has built a substantial foundation in the arts. And to think, he's achieved so much already at the young age of 22. Thanks for watching. Are you Team Archie or Team Billy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.